Back at you, July 20th, the Butter Pecan Puerto Rican. This is Jos with Beans and Rice Podcast. And this is Jos Say, <laughs> Jos Beefy with the number one comedy podcast in Utah. Utah. Burr, 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 burr. With a sprinkle of advice. Yep. It's a, a little, little bit of seriousness, yeah. a little bit of Monica. And then we got, and we the end, I guess Hades. I'm back yeah. in the, oh, what is it, the underworld, the upside down. Fucking <laughs> Lazarus upside has returned. Down. I guess I'm I'm putting in the work in hell for all my sins. I'm sorry. That's so it. what's your name? You're not gonna introduce. I'm yourself? not gonna introduce myself yeah, he today. Everyone knows him now. Yeah, everybody oh, wow. knows. I know. Yeah, everybody knows me now. Dude, somebody's getting cocky, huh? <laughs> yeah, a little too cocky. Like in my absence. But I guess if I have to, my name is Javi. No, hello world. Nothing. No, hello world. You're today. gonna have a kid. That's that's what your kids should say when your kid pops out of the womb. He's gonna say hello world. Not anymore. No, I, he can have his own phrase. I'm not gonna force my phrase up on him. Pro choice. Patent pending. Pro choice. <laughs> and then we also have somebody else, Hoss. Yeah, we, we have, have somebody else guests in the building. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Yes. Hello, everyone. My name is Alice, aka Fajian Invasion. Invasion. Oh, That's how you pronounce it. Fajian. I didn't know how to pronounce it this whole yeah, or time. Or Fasian. So. You can do Fasian. Yeah. I like that one. Fasian looks yeah. cool. The, yeah, that sounds the cool. Horn. Fashion, almost, you know? It's like the French. But it's going to be another intern, you know? So it's going to be uh, yes. another internship. We're, we're going to see what's going to happen because yeah. uh, she came in with some monster. She said, oh, I'm not trying to sleep, you know? No. Yeah. And then we got Sleepy Joe Hobby over here, <laughs> you know? He's already falling asleep. We're like, what's going on with this Hot guy? Night, Joe I haven't even, the kid hasn't even off. popped out yet. And we I'm need to give tired. him a motor skill test. Is that what they want to do to Joe Biden? And a literary, uh, literary, literary. test. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. Shit. Maybe we should both take that one. I don't need to take. He's that. been on vacation. Yeah. But uh, he's been on vacation. Vacation. Bobby was gone too, it. right? He said, he, "Dude, this guy, right? He, uh, he didn't tell me he was gonna be gone. No, he didn't. He's he's been telling me, Javi. Oh, you know, every podcast, you know. Hey, I'm gonna be gone. You know, I'm gonna miss you guys. I'm gonna be having fun." Uh, hounding and pounding over in Florida and in Javi like literally like 30 minutes before he's supposed to be here <laughs> Oh, hey, by the way, I'm on vacation <laughs> Can't make it in today guys. So would you like to explain yourself Javi what happened a little bit? Yeah Um, so Cynthia wanted to take the boys out Cynthia. Cynthia. Well, just I'm gonna blame it on him Because it's the truth and I don't tell a lie Cynthia wanted to go on vacation <laughs> And um take the boys she wanted to go to Cali really but I was like, what the heck? You're 35 weeks. We're not taking you anywhere. And then we settled for Park City. Yeah. But and why did you take the kids? I thought it was only supposed to be both of you. No, the whole reason was for the kids. Because we didn't take them anywhere this year. Or oh. even last year, I think. Dude, the year's barely half over. You still have another five barely months. Barely half over. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. We'll see. But we yeah, didn't take was... them anywhere this year. And he you said. still have another five months. Well, she's pregnant. So, like, we have to wait. And then we have to wait. After, like, even a month better. She can stay home with the baby. You take the kids. Yeah, but then I'm sure she <laughs> wants to go too. Yeah, Cynthia, he, they don't want you to take a vacation. He said he was gonna call in. He didn't call in. That's 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 honestly the reason that I'm upset, dude. Because you told me I you were gonna call in. He <laughs> said to so call in, and you had to do everything yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. You should have called in for me. You know that would. Be... <laughs> dude, I should have yeah. just remoted through my laptop to help you out with OBS. But also, uh, host, you were on vacation. I was. And can you tell us what happened? Did you meet meet up with a lot of it, uh, a, a lot of bit, a lot of Cubans out there? The Cuban community was strong. Or? Uh, Cuban community is strong in Miami. So I was just east of Orlando. So that is Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, and like a Haitian community. No Mexicans. There's a couple. Not mm -hmm. very like. I only saw maybe two or three restaurants of Mexicans. How many Mexicans do you think work at those restaurants? Probably five. A piece. One of them wants a Taco Bell too. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Work double shifts. Move right, right from one to the other. I think I only saw two Taco Bells out there, but um, not too many Mexicans. A lot of Caribbean folk. It was nice. A lot of fun. Yeah. What did you do? Did you eat anything cool? Or you posted a picture? I don't know if it was a sandwich, or it looked like a panini. I don't know what did it I was. Did I post a sandwich? No, yeah. it was a it was a drink. Bro. Yeah, it was a drink. No, there was one that was a sandwich, dude. Dude, I don't recall posting a sandwich. Yeah, but like I did a big have... piece of ham or something like that. I'm pretty sure. A Cubano? <laughs> oh, that was a... Uh, it's called a Boricua sandwich. I, I went to a Puerto What's Rican up, bakery. Punks? Yeah, but I only posted that on Snap, so if you weren't on uh, Snap, then you wouldn't have yeah. seen it. Yeah, yeah that's right. Um, Pervert's Boricua <laughs> sandwich? Yeah. We don't have his... Uh, what is the... We're not worthy. Yeah, we don't have the Snapchat. I mean, you what do you mean? It. You're not hiding it from anyone. You're on the beans and rice. It's on the same one. Yeah, but we're like individually... 
You know, I don't have that Whatever. direct line. No, he All I have to go excuses. excluded, right? Yeah. He couldn't just tap on you and, and press add as a friend. Yeah. But either way, I mean... I, I barely know how to work this. Do you want to be his friend? <laughs> I do want to be his friend. Well, it takes you... effort on both, both ends. Will you be his right friend right on here. Snapchat? Of course. Why do you send him an invite, Javi? You're I'll send him an with... invite right now. Ah. Let me get this on camera. But uh, while he's doing that, so... A ton of seafood, because, I mean, you're on the coast. If you're a seafood fan... You eat seafood every single day. That you have to. So lobster roll, shrimp roll, a grouper sandwich, which is like a grouper. grouper that, sandwich. It's called a grouper. From it's a group fish. On? You got a group on for a grouper sandwich. Dude, I mean, look at my size. I need that group. Um, it's like the, it was just a fried fish. I had blackened salmon, um, snapper, just anything seafood related. I I would have. Yeah. Crab, crab cakes. Are you a seafood person? Yes and no. So what would you eat that's seafood? Uh, shrimp, octopus, a little crab. So what's the no? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Everything else. Really? Oh, so, salmon. I could do salmon. You can tilapia. do salmon. So you but you can't eat tilapia. But you don't the other ones? Mm -mm. That's strange. I can't do mussels or oysters. Okay. What about scallops? No. That's, so like that's a vegetable, Javi, you freaking idiot. <laughs> God. Scallions? <laughs> God, I don't see any of those animals. I he swear just... to God. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, well, tilapia, you can eat those, right? Yeah. Like a fried fish. Uh, what else? What other questions do you think for food? She doesn't have any allergies. She's allergic to no penicillin. Food allergies. No food allergies. I checked her medical records. True, uh, he went to go see my doctor today. Okay. And then <laughs> there was there was a little bit of a calcium deficiency, though. Okay. So that was a little bit concerning. So next time, just make a smoothie right, with milk monster? and monster. No, no, oh. you can have the monster. Just did Put ice cream. There. I don't know your calcium. if that's going to work. I might be in the bathroom instead of here. Ice cream? No, it'll work. No, yeah, right. You'll be in the all-gender bathroom. Dude, I've had no. a, I've had a, to our bathroom. a Red Bull frappe. <laughs> like a red, it's basically vanilla ice cream, Red Bull. They blend that, and it's delicious. Just do it with a monster. Mm, okay. It'll be like a root beer float. It'll be a monster float. Okay. Anything can happen. But anything can happen on today, the 20th? The 20th Is of July. The forecast says? Yeah. And do we have anything uh, special, any holidays? Anything Hopefully like something we're celebrating. A lot of these holidays have sucked. Uh, they they kind of suck today, too. Especially the 4th of July. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> dude, you got That's a patron next to you, dude, okay? I don't want to pull up my Roman camel, dude. You got G.I. Jose over here, yeah, bro. Dude. Look, I'm swearing that camel looks like a bus. You know? <laughs> like a bus cover, dude. It's from that UTA. But today, July 20th, uh, the first national holiday is Fortune Cookie Day. That's a good one, huh? I like fortune cookies. Dude, but now the fortune cookies are starting to turn into kind of little biatches. You know what They're I mean? They're starting to turn into obvious cookies. They don't give you fortunes anymore. Yeah. No. It's just like, They're hey, yes. huh? They don't give you fortune. Mm -hmm. They're like, look up and look up into the sky. You will see the stars. Yeah. If you wake up before the sun rises, you can watch the sunrise. Yeah. It's, uh, what's another one? It's like, uh, if you shower every day, there's a chance you'll smell good. Yeah. You know, I was like, what kind of advice is this? It's more right. of a forecast, if you ask Yeah, me. you know what I mean? Yeah, then there was like, the grass is always greener when you use night vision goggles. It's like, yeah. what the fuck is this? I know it's <laughs> green. Yeah. I wish I had that one. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I heard there is a curse for the uh, fortune cookies. That you get a shitty fortune cookie if you... What was it? I think if you... Don't you have to eat it first before you read it? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. My thing. Like yeah. That. yeah that's People what that like break it only read it, I was like, that's why your fortune... That's why it's true. like advice. Yeah. So what is it? You know what I mean? Now I heard most fortune cookies they're 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 not even made in China. They're like uh, they originated I think was... in San Francisco. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. So it's, not, it's you know as what I American mean? as apple pie, really. And then it's like the lucky numbers. Nobody pays attention to the lucky numbers. Do you yeah, guys pay attention mean? to those? I don't know what it means. We should probably. I mean, <laughs> we, we we would say let's get a Chinese person, but they're not Chinese, so they're gonna be <laughs> like, well, that's not us. It was <laughs> it was American <laughs> made, but inspired by like a Japanese moon pie thing because they would send messages. I think in feudal Japan and like their little moon pies. Oh. So they'd sneak messages and then Dude, and it's, yeah. it it worked because no one wanted to eat their disgusting moon pies. Yeah. Do you like moon pies? No. Oh, they're Good. really big, yeah. They're disgusting. <laughs> No, dude, we should eat a moon pie. I want to try one. I've only seen it on like TV and the internet. Some of them are okay, but it's like are those marshmallow? Like, what, no, dude, it's like uh but they make them with nasty things too, huh? They can make oh, yeah. them of like uh what could they make them out of? Like, they can put, what, a couple dude, of man, koi they, fish? Dude, they're Japanese. They will make and them out of anything. Crickets, yeah, like a, geckos. Yeah. 
Oh, you got Gone Limited. Oh, <laughs> let's go. You got the throwback. Yeah, you got the G right here. Yeah. The rest is Echo. <laughs> you got Gone Limited. But, dude, wouldn't it be cool? Look, because now we're talking about they put messages in the fortune cookie. Yeah. Dude, if you're a chef, right, and you, you put it to your crush, you know you have a crush? You put it in there, a little message? <laughs> wouldn't that be cool? What if she ate it? Yeah, like, what and then, and then she's an idiot and you shouldn't yeah. have a crush on her. You'll know, or but him. it's like, but your preference. Or or she's like, that's the most, know? she cracks it open and is like, hey, yeah. you're beautiful. You know? Here's my number. You're the horizon <laughs> to my eyes. Something like that, you know? Ooh, okay. <laughs> Lucky number 69, <laughs> you know? One plus Just... one equals me and you or something like that, you know? <laughs> and she opens that. Don't What's tell me, are you going to fall in love or not? <laughs> if somebody gave you a fortune cookie. So I, this is a fortune cookie. Yeah, I mean that's that's a good start. You're gonna open it. Oh my god! What what does it say, Hoss? So it says, "I want the W without the double." Ah! Oh. So All she wants you. you? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Dude, I would fall for that. You would fall for that? I would fall for that. Dude, we need to do that pen pending romantic fortune cookie. So it would be like. Lover cookies, that's what they would be. Lover cookies? Yeah. Would you buy a lover cookie? Yeah, heck yeah. For your lover? Dude, don't they kind of do that at Tao? Yeah, I was just thinking that. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Oh, didn't we do that for you can do customized birthday? fortune cookies. No, no, yeah. no. But, well, I mean, I, mean, I don't know if they're customized, but it's all sexual reference. Very sexual. Yeah, we're in, dude. You're going to get late tonight. Like, it's like... Not us, dude. We're talking about love, dude. Not freaking I lust. Mean, this you is my, from my experience. <laughs> These cookies were all lustful cookies. Very yeah, not lustful. us. There was one that said... Uh, something about group parties are always the best sexual something. I, I still have mine too from Vegas. Well, I don't know what you freaks are into, but us, <laughs> yeah, you know, we just want you know those Birds Disney cookies. Cookies. We love monogamy here. Yeah. <laughs> we don't right. want no orgies, okay? We don't want no sharing. Hey, that's your thing. That's your thing, but I want to fall in love with one woman. Yeah, sharing is not five. caring around here, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I think that's it. You got any? You, do you have any comments? What about you? Have you ever felt uh, a victim of uh, like fortune cookie or how do you like your fortune cookie? Do you put it in ice cream and eat it like that? If you ever went to a buffet, you know what I mean. You want a Chinese gourmet or golden corral? You get some vanilla ice cream, throw your fortune in there. No. No. So no. how do you eat your I just fortune eat it cookie? Plain. Oh. I think it has the best flavor like that. All right, what's the next holiday, dude? <laughs> wow. <laughs> the next holiday is... <laughs> when you said moon pies, because the next holiday is <clears throat> National Moon Day. Okay. And I don't know if they mean the the thing that's up in the sky, or... Or you're pulling, you're pulling your your pants down your pants. And so, giving them a, a full moon. Yeah, but, you know, the moon, they said, fuck the moon, I was going to wobble. And by 2031, it's going to be like uh, the tides are going to float a bunch dude, of things. Did you see I that? I don't get the term mooning. I don't get it either. It doesn't look like a moon. If you have hemorrhoids, it looks like a peach that was cut in half. <laughs> so it's not like a moon. It's a, it's just a fruit. A moon is a perfect circle, last time I checked. Maybe it could be like a quarter moon. It depends on the age of the moon, doesn't it? Or you the, have a tool. It could be like a new moon. The angle you're mooning them at, you know? Maybe like an Australian it's moon. It's a crescent moon one time. A crescent, there you go, see? Yeah. A waxing moon, right, which if, a lot of people I thought that was a bread, you know? If something's crescent, you probably should find a toilet, because that's disgusting. <laughs> But right. yeah, the moon, we're going to die. That's what they said. It's going to wobble. Dude, they've been saying that for centuries. No, but I guess it wobbled like before we were even civilized. Like in the, I don't know how. It wobbled? How would they know that? Because it's going like this, right? And it's orbiting space. You see you wobble, and then it goes wobble. like this. You see you shake, shake. <laughs> That's but, wobbling? Like this. That's a wobble. Like that. Is you that waving see? back? Huh? Like this, Avi. It's like if you imagine him as Michael J. Fox for half a second. Oh, and then he's back to normal. That's a wobble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. At least he wasn't talking about the other guy. What's the other guy with the computer? Uh, Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking. Dude, yeah, yeah that means. Me... <laughs> I think you're. That Let's move on. Has been <laughs> but yeah, we were gonna die. We were gonna die from the moon. Now it does say like back then, the last time that it did that, there was like a lot of people that got um. Uh, it causes like a lot of weird depression, and there was also like uh psychological traumas. Like people were committing like higher rates of suicide. Like do you think all these it, like are... messes up the? I don't know what it is. You know what horoscopes? I mean? The energy. I can't remember. No, no, yeah, like so, the like energy. an eclipse, yeah, but the opposite. Like Nothing with the horoscope, dude. But it's just like well, you I don't, don't know, think... it's like the gravity or like the thing well, of the moon. Just the like moon messes... dictates the tides of the ocean. Yeah. Did you know that, Javi? 
I did know that. Huh? That's so, science. So do you believe in that where it's like uh, people say, oh, it's a full moon, so people are like more moody? Weird? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes, definitely. So what's the last time the moon affected you? I don't know. But when you believe in it? Had a full moon? Does it positively influence you? Like when it's the full moon? No. I care less about it. Okay. Have, have you ever had one? I've never felt that way. No? I don't know. I feel like I'm irksome in just normal scenarios. Well, I always listen to like Shakira She Wolf. You know what I mean? And then look outside. Yeah. Start howling at the moon too. No. Ow. That's a good song. He's like the. <laughs> but yeah, I, I was actually really happy the last full moon when they had that super one. I was really happy. I don't know why, but I am a Cancer moon, you know. So that's maybe that's why I was happy. I think I'm a sun rising. I don't know what that means, but that's what they've told me in astrology. Oh really? Yeah. I don't know Water I signs, sun rising. You don't know what you all are. The, all the you don't know what you are. When were you born? I mean, I know I'm a Gemini, but I don't know about like the moon and uh, all that. I didn't know that until maybe like a year or two ago, because I know some people take it really serious. Hmm. Like, oh, you're a what year? And they like what? They're like you're a sun rising. I'm like, I don't know what that means, but <laughs> you're you early. Sun rise. Maybe you're I'm early part bird. Japanese, right? <laughs> the land of the rising sun. That, that would be good on the fortune cookie. That would there be you dope. Go. You are sun rising. Dude, imagine finding out your ancestry through a fortune cookie. Oh, that'd be crazy. <laughs> that would be creepy. And they should make Braille ones, patent pending, for the patent blind community. Dude? Yes. For the blind That's community. a yes. good one. I think the non-Braille uh, people would get jealous, though, you know, because there's just like a piece of paper, yeah. low quality. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> the Braille would have to be like a piece of metal. Dude, somebody would eat that. Dude, they're fucked. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, it's, it's like they'll learn Braille without being blind, you know? It's like the trick-or-treating <laughs> thing where they like dude. eat it. Like, oh, somebody put blades. You know, they see that story every year. Oh, well, yeah. I went trick-or-treating. I took my kids and, you know, little Jimmy, he was uh, oh, he chewing a on blade, the now later. And there was, yeah, there was the racer blade. Dude, that story always pops imagine up. Imagine the blind person because, like, it's going to take a while for word to spread. They're right. just going to pop the fortune cookie in. Like, there was no paper. They're going to swallow it. And then as it comes out, they're going to be able to read it. Oh, they read it. They sense so hopefully it they, their... Like, hopefully it's the right way, though, because if it's backwards. Because they do say the anal glands have, like, the most sensitivity. Oh that's true. So it's, it's 100% it would read factual. all the Braille? Yeah. Dude, they that read sounds it. hot. I want to read Braille, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sign me up, dude. You could eat a book and, and read. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so yeah anything else so we talked about the moon there's uh they oh people didn't go to the moon there's a lot of people that say oh you know they didn't that it go stay bus light you didn't go to the moon you know he it went to infinity there. and beyond oh. Oh. <laughs> they forget the moon because he yeah. got lost right <laughs> <Do you> think <laughs> he's just, the spaceship broke <laughs> he saw many of moons <laughs> that's funny now so what about so uh we talked about the moon so do you don't have any experience with the moon or tides nothing about uh space nothing with the moon uh this one time in mexico there was like the moon was super yellow and lower so i noticed the tides were really really high oh really that's about it i got scared i thought i was gonna get sucked in sucked into the water yeah where were you swimming that late i wasn't i was looking outside oh then you had a beach house in mexico no just... no a trap house yeah. oh no she's not by the beach, trapping yeah. by the beach. Yeah, yeah I doubt it. Dude. Do that. That's where you get the best consumers. Yeah, Tourists, really, Tijuana and stuff like that. Come through. I don't know. I've never been to Mexico. I don't know. So it sounds like she's got a beach house. She's not even telling us. Must be nice, dude. I mean, if I did, you do you really need this internship, Alice? Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys didn't even tell me how much you're gonna pay me. So. Oh, she's already talking about Dang, that, bro. It's an internship, okay? First, you have to make it and survive. Yeah. I'm uh, obviously already here, so. Javi is still in this internship right yeah, now, and it's been a year. <laughs> it's been a year, okay? <laughs> we're just saying. So you came in here flashing the gold. She did you see? I was like, hey, this is uh, this is where you hang your jacket. You know, okay. it's a little cloudy today. I walk out there. There's an AK-47, dude. <laughs> That Russian mobster. So what's going on? And then she comes in with all these chains. You know what I mean? Looking, I got yeah. this one. Look from I mean, Amazon. This little tiny one. She's looking like Nikola ripping. Jokic's long lost cousin <laughs> over here. <laughs> Dang. All right, take us. You know what? I'm starting to get creeped out. All right, next, next holiday. Ne the next holiday is one of the greatest songs ever. <clears throat> Back in the day, it's a National Lollipop Day. Ooh. Back in the day. How you lick it li 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 like a lot? But that wasn't even back in the day that much, huh? Wasn't it like 2010? 2010, I would probably 10 years ago, bro. That's like a third of I my life. I want to say it was 2008. But... 2008? I want to was... say that. What was... year do you have for Lollipop? Uh, I want to say 2010. I'm going to go 2009, Hoss. Okay. Let's see what the people say. 
Was that it has to be four? like 2009, dude. That was I a Carter was a 4, three. right? Oh, maybe. No, I think it was a Carter 3. 3? Yeah, yeah, I think it was then three. Then it's got to be earlier than 2010. Yeah, I think I was going to say 2009. What were your answers? 8. 2009, 4, Horse Horse was right. Ding, ding, ding. Mm. 2008. Let's Close, go. Dude. So, yeah. That's Absolute the national memories. holiday for today as well. Lollipop, yeah. dude. And lollipops, like, dude, they kind of went extinct a little bit, dude. Yeah, I remember blow pops where you oh, have I to like. Blow pops. Yeah, and the gum tasted good, but oh, it yeah. would get really Second. dry really fast. And then it'll, if you kept chewing it, it would disintegrate in your mouth. Dude, yeah. You know it what would I mean? It like sand. And then you could go, uh, oh, remember you could go to the bank, dude, remember? And you could get a lollipop after. Oh, yeah, the dum dums. Yeah, I remember. They'd give you one of those. Boom. They still can. They, they still have them? Uh huh. Dang, dude, she goes to the bank too? Dang, I do grown dude. up things once in a while. She's laughing straight to the bank with this. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, they had those kind of lollipops. So, what other lollipops? They had the. Uh, what are those apple <laughs> ones? Are those kind of lollipops? Dude, those oh, are the, so good. The ones the that just get stuck here. The caramel apple yeah. ones, yeah. It, where if you bite hard enough, oh, you you're, feel like your, you're not going to have teeth no. anymore. You have a wisdom tooth that's snagging that's you, so, dude. You just, just, that's all you need. You know, bite it, it, wait five minutes, wait, wait, and then <laughs> try to unhinge your jaw. Pull it out, dude. You got that's your... actually how I lost one of my tooth. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. That always You're a survivor? Me. I am. So which tooth was like a, what is it, a molar? Is that what it was? Molar eclipse? or? I think so, because it was in the back. Oh, really? I was like nine or something. How much did it hurt? It hurt a lot. Were your parents pissed? I was pissed. I was at Lagoon. <laughs> I was at Lagoon. Oh. And I don't know where. I'm just trying to... And it wouldn't oh. come off. And there was probably a little chunk there yeah, still, huh? probably. Because it was just like broken just out, right? Bleeding. So I was trying to get on the ride. I couldn't get on the ride because my mouth all... All this blood, blood coming out. out on the roller coaster, too. <laughs> oh, dude. And then your parents look like they hit you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And everybody's being all suspicious. And that didn't traumatize you from those... Uh... Yeah, I couldn't eat them for a long time. Oh, really? Yeah. See, yeah, they're probably the best trauma. suckers. Dude, they're so good, but they're just like... You can only enjoy them for that season, you know? Yeah. When do they even come out? Are they even still around? Dude, they have to be around. It's like during a magical time, you know? It's like it's around like, the... Oh, isn't it right close to Halloween? Out, Halloween, yeah. Because it's is like that... fall time, because it's... Apples are associated yeah. with fall, mm -hmm. and then, like, caramel. Oh, that hurts. I made my teeth hurt, dude. <laughs> dude just imagine the kid just... You guys, you guys just never running have... around, just <laughs> mouth is bleeding. And then you well, look at the lollipop that turns a thug to the thing. <laughs> you guys never have dreams, a dream where your, uh, your teeth break or anything like that? Yes. Yeah, have you had one of those? No, never. What about you, Javi? No. So you've had one? Mm -hmm. It's so scary, it huh? It is, and then you wake up and you start trying yeah, to Yeah, you start like mouth. touching them like, oh. I've never had that. My I wonder teeth what that are means. still there. They're like, oh, you're like, uh, I think it's something with like confidence. So you're like, you're not mm. confident today. I've had the ones where I run really slow and I can't like run fast. Yeah? Yeah. What about you? What weird dreams have you had, Javi? I don't have dreams, dude. Right? It shows, He's a right? vampire. I don't have no dreams or... You haven't had a dream, Javi. I mean, I'm sure I have, but... <laughs> I'm sure I have. How old are you? 30. And in 30 years, you you've never had a dream. You can't remember any dreams, Not Javi, one that you dream, had. dude. After that incident, I don't remember anything. You don't remember any dreams that you had? No, dude. Oh, That's strange. Okay. So what about you, Alice? Do you... Maybe see... It probably is... means that I have a okay, balanced sh life. Let's... And I'm hey, good, knock it off, you know? <laughs> What's, uh... This is how we're... Hey, tell us something about your dreams. Javi's replacement. What do you mean about my dreams? Just like a oh dream I've had? My <laughs> God, <dude>. Oh my god! Anything. What dreams have you had? Yeah. Uh, recurring dreams? Nightmares? Because I'll start. And I'll give okay. you maybe some time okay, to good. think. Good, good, good. I did have a recurring dream, and I actually... Like, I like the ocean, but it terrifies me because I've always had this one dream, and it happens at the same time. I have it maybe two times a year. Like, I'm on the beach, I'm enjoying it, and then the waves get more aggressive, more aggressive, and then there's like a 50 foot tidal wave, and I can't escape it. And then I wake up right before it hits me. Right before you drown? Yeah. And also, That's a little scary. bit Mi Mikey, Mikey Uppy. Oh, Mikey Uppy. Hi, Mike. Yeah, just in case. Hola. So, what's your nightmare? nightmare or your um, dream like his you know his was like a traumatizing one let's see. a little tsunami he thought it was gonna be kelly Oubre jr dude <laughs> tsunami <laughs> poppy dude no dude. oh i have this one and it happens a lot actually where we're at work and um we're just obviously working and then this figure just walks in out of nowhere and it's obviously death or like the describe this figure uh black robe always has to be a black person black lives matter go ahead <laughs> um and then and then it's like the apocalypse happens like uh meteorites come everybody's going crazy oh, dude, you scary. see the reaper yeah basically damn 
Damn. Do you wow. watch Harry Potter? Yes. Maybe that's what you've been watching. Voldemort. Basically, it's <laughs> Albus Dumbledore. Albus Dumbledore's the the Reaper. Oh. Because oh, okay. he greets Reaper? Harry. Yeah. Well, if, if you read and watch the books, because you know how they go through that tale of like the three brothers. Yeah. So Harry's one of the three brothers because he has the invisibility cloak. Uh, Voldemort has the Elder Wand, and then Snape has the stone because he wishes Lily Potter was alive. So remember when in the tale it says that the invisibility cloak guy dies and he death greets him like an old friend. Albus Dumbledore is waiting on the other side and he greets him like a friend. Yeah, Dang, dude. Yeah, you guys no, watch Harry Potter it. still? So you're dreaming about Harry po- uh, Dumbledore? That's who you're. It's who you're seeing. Yeah, there Dang, we go. I don't want to yeah. see Dumbledore anymore, dude. You okay, Javi? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. What the Do heck? you have any recurring dreams? <laughs> Me? Oh, dude, sometimes I dream like, uh, what am I doing, dude? I'm probably like, uh, maybe in like Florida, kind of where you went, you know? Okay. And I'm outside of like a Kmart, right? And there's probably, there's like a Chevron. R.I.P. Kmart. Right. And uh, maybe that's the way I was dreaming. <laughs> You're going to bring Kmart back. And there's like a Chevron, you know what I mean? And then it starts raining too, Hoss. Like a lot of rain. And I'm like, oh, what's going on? And all of a sudden... I, I look up, dude, I'm in a sewer somehow, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I see all the water just like start in the gush. Like, oh, man. Like Apocalypto. You guys ever watch yeah. Apocalypto? Yeah, it's a good movie. Remember how it's like the little ladies there pregnant? Yeah. And that's me, but I'm not pregnant and I'm not a lady, dude. And I look up there <laughs> and I'm like, dude, it's starting to, like, people are like running away from me and stuff. I was like, dude, save me. And then it's, I'm trying to see like, maybe I'll float, you know? I'm like, okay, yeah. maybe I'll let the water consume me and then I'll like float a little bit. And then I, I can't. Gotcha. Mr. No Dream Guy. Any other holidays? I'm just sitting here jealous that I, I can't remember dreams, you know? You seemed actually Jerks. pretty proud that you didn't do dreams. I'm a... That means I have no problems in life. Right? Yeah. I'm, I'm an, I'm an adult. Life. Yeah, what if it is? What if it's not? What if it, there's something wrong with me? Now I have to go see a doctor. Fear, and as a man, I fear going to the doctor. Or Abdullah <laughs> Oblongata or whatever oh all that stuff goodness. is. You know what I mean? But was that the last holiday? There was another one, but it was whack. What was it? National Pennsylvania Day. <laughs> yeah, let's not talk about that. Yeah, state. I was like, no. But what if it was oil? Remember that oil? Pennsylvania <laughs> oil. Pens oil. Yeah. yeah, and then it would go Castrol. Is it Castrol the one that took over? <laughs> yeah, and then Fidel Castro took over. <laughs> took and look, over that day. Look where that got the Cuban. Dude, speaking about uh, leaks today, I'm a what? I'm a Mexican what? Pipeline specialist. Did oh, you guys yeah, see yeah. that? Did you guys see the Mexican pipeline? Mm-mm. So it was like the petroleum, right? That they're yeah. sucking out of the ocean. It looked like Pacific Rim. It got, oh, it lighted okay, on okay, fire okay. and it was like fire was coming out of the... Wasn't there three of those? Out of and water. they had boats with water spraying. In the water. <laughs> like, it's in the ocean. I don't know they, how necessary so that is. So they sprayed is, nitrogen. But... Okay, it well it looked like it was just water. Okay. So it was like nitrogen. They had to spray nitrogen to... Water. Yeah, yes. pull it down though. but wasn't there three the of those fires not enough huh? there was at least two of those right dude i don't know dude i don't know the mexican government was there well there's hiding. one in the gulf and then there was like two other ones like i uh, lord knows where dude imagine if you were crap. a fish you know what i mean we're talking about nightmares you know what i mean <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this fish is having a nice ass day dude and then just like the water's on fire <laughs> <That's> <laughs> barbecued. you know like i swim in here dude it's supposed to be cold dude he left his home <laughs> he comes back with his groceries <laughs> his house is on fire. like what the fuck? Yeah, you, you think they have a GoFundMe? You know what I mean? For those fishes? Absolutely not, dude. Huh? Go that... fin me. Just yeah. They could go fin. And then finding Nemo is what happens. Right. Right. The coral One reef is left. destroyed, dude. Yeah. There's no reef anymore, dude. Just coral reefer, dude. That said, dude, nothing but burnt ashes, dude. <laughs> Just a yeah. bunch of. Do you think they're gonna find burnt fish like just floating in the ocean at some point? Oh, dude! Imagine somebody be stupid enough to eat it or a shark. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Just oh, like, oh, look, there's a smoke. You know? I got dinner and then they eat it, then they die. Then it gets just... cancer because of all the toxins from the smoke. But isn't it weird? They would be eating technically a dinosaur. Yeah. Because it's just like you know what I mean. It's a fossil fuel. So I wonder if it even affects the fish. It gives them superpowers, and then we get that show Street Sharks. You remember that in the nineties? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah like, they roll their blade yeah. and they. Did you watch that one? Yeah, yes. like all oh, cool. Yeah, and then they like break concrete because they swim through the streets. And then Lugia comes to save them <laughs> from the deep oceans. Remember the, Lugia, dude? The song of Lugia. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby tried to play it on the flute once, remember? <laughs> dude, it was horrible. He tried playing hot cross buns. Yeah. And do you know, know who Lugia is, or you weren't no. into Pokemon? No. No. Yes. Yeah, I I'm was, sure. Like, let me pull it up. But I don't. 
You weren't a Pokemon master? No. I Probably was not. first generation. Yes. And then just dropped it. Yeah. I, I I get that because I was similar. But then there's like too many Pokemons, you know? Yeah, there's like yeah, nine there's generations. Like no. Lugie goes cool. It's like eight hundred thousand oh, okay, Pokemon. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I knew you've seen this, but yeah. yeah. That's too much, dude. Too many Pokemon. When I found out that was a bird, it bothered me. It's not a dragon. It's, it's not it's supposed it's to be bird. like a mystic creature or something, isn't it? It's like Aren't a magical they all bird. mystic creatures. No, it's a magical bird though. That's so weird. That doesn't yeah, that looks more like, like a dragon. Yeah. Or oh, dragon knight like uh <laughs> dragon evolution. Knight is not a Pokemon. So well, but no, but that's what I'm saying. Like uh, that's what it looked like, like in evolution. evolution? Of the, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that is a good point, right? Because Dragon Knight well, it's like Dragon, what is it? Dratini, Dragonair. It, yeah. And then Dragonite all of a sudden turns orange. And he's got a purse. Yeah. <laughs> remember his little messenger bag? No. Yeah, don't you remember in the show he had a messenger bag? Um, he's nice. What? No, I don't remember. You know what I mean? Dude, he's nice, but he has that switch. He's like bipolar. Yeah. Where he finds the Charizard. And he's he's like, a no, Gemini. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Dragon Knight's a Gemini. Dang, Dragonite Jr. Dude, that's a dope ass Pokemon to be a Gemini, though. Yeah. So do you have like uh, temper tantrums? Is that is that it? No. Like uh, you can oh, okay, go zero okay. to a hundred. Maybe I do. Yeah. I do, but I don't. I don't act out a lot. So what she would controls you... it. I control. You control your anger. Yes. So how do you feel when you're getting angry? Like what's uh, you know, somebody's like triggering you right now, you know, and then what's going through your mind? Um, usually I get really irritated, and then um. Then, like, the fighting scenes happen in my head. I just want to punch them or snap their necks, you know? Straight to violence, right? Huh? <laughs> Violencia, dude. Yeah. Jeez. But I usually just walk away and then just keep... Do you ever count away. to ten? Yes. So that works? Do you yeah. think that works? Yes. So I, how do you feel when you count to ten? I usually just take deep breaths and go one, two, and it helps. But you don't excel? I do. Well, not when you were showing us. <laughs> it's, so it's all in. One, she gets she lightheaded. Exhaled, no, no. That's why she doesn't get mad anymore. Right? She's lightheaded. She's like, she she was like one, nice. two, three, four, five. Turns into dude, Kirby. Kirby's here, dude. never mad. Next thing you know, she's yeah. got bronchitis, dude, yeah. you know? COPD. Mm -hmm. Dude, Kirby, dude. I remember Kirby. Yeah. What happened to him, dude? He, he inhaled too much, then he, <laughs> he, he never exhaled. <laughs> His lungs dude. blew up, dude. dude. That COPD was real. Dude, oh, I wanted to tell you guys something about it. wasn't about Kirby, but it was about... Um... It must have been a lie. No, no, it, what was it about? Uh, somebody talked, boy, well, I remember, because it was... Uh, God, it was something really cool. Uh, something that's gone. They're trying to get rid of something, but I can't remember now. Oh, Baby Einstein, dude. Do you guys Baby remember Einstein. Baby Einstein? No. No? You that remember? Show? No, it's like Baby Einstein is like a CD and it has music. Oh, don't they make toys? That's the toy I got. Well, let me yeah. tell the story, okay? Okay. So Javi had a bachelorette party for his uh, son, right? He's like, oh, we got to <laughs> we gotta give him gifts and stuff like that, right? Yeah. So, right, I go, I go, I'm like, I got uh, some stuff to suck the nipples. You know what I mean? to milk one of those ones yeah just... and they're portable dude now you can you have an there's app. an app for that they, they're snapping you can wear them under your bra dude and you just like turn it on and it's like milking you while you're having a conversation i'm actually wearing them right now <laughs> shout out to sponsor but, us yeah please but uh... <laughs> They hey, we'll make, they're I'll very good any way we can. You know? But uh so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get some baby Einsteins because like baby Einstein has got like classical music, you know what I mean? Okay. It's got a little bit of Mozart, uh Picasso, Mona Lisa, it's got the Beethoven, you know what I mean? It's got a uh, flying lotus, you know, it's got a lot of different uh classical music. A little, Jay Dilla, a little Dilla in there. No, none of that, dude. That's weird. But uh <laughs> So literally, you, the one you got is you DJ. listen to the. <laughs> so why not? Why not? No, no. So that's what I'm. So normally it's like a CD, right? And you okay. you put it on there. You, the baby listens to like this beautiful music, and then they grow and develop to be productive adults, you know, and great in life. But now CDs are obsolete, so they don't exist anymore. CDs. So I'm like looking. I'm like, dude. I asked the person. I'm like, do you guys still have Baby Einstein CDs? What are CDs? Wow. I was like, like, yeah, we don't have them anymore. She's like, yeah, we don't make those anymore. So then I look, I keep looking. I'm like, dude, they must have some Baby Einstein memorabilia. I find a DJ set. So now Baby Einstein, he's been canceled, and now he's a DJ, dude. 
DJ, so now, DJ it came in with a, yeah with a little bit of molly and stuff like that dude oh, like, and everything was like edm and now you're wondering why all these kids are pieces of shit dude <laughs> they got they're dj <laughs> you know what i mean they're like from their babies they're Literally, like DJing. it has like five uh piano keys yeah dude and then uh it has a little it's got the little turntable turntable it's got the little and it has a little computer that it literally just f like flips up and it's and that's a where you hide your molly yeah wow it's a mirror it's a mirror so now they're gonna do lines now they're tripping wow. out yeah. they're, yeah. they're so an they're acid and they're they tripping the out and they're looking you know so they're i'm looking like, at the mirror you know what i mean they're the melting coke boys in the building right. but i did get i did More get Javi one <laughs> for his kid you know that's the closest maybe he could get to einstein now it's a uh, dj epstein i think is what they call DJ it epstein, dude. <laughs> they just, that molly makes him misspell things yeah so he got canceled Oh, do you miss any toys there? What's something from you, Alex, that got canceled that you that you liked or that you used to like? Um, I don't know. I oh, the Power Ranger toys. I used to love the little Power Ranger toys. The Power Ranger toys. Where you Which would one? Hit the belt and yeah. it flipped the head to have the, the helmet. Mm -hmm. Classic. Oh, the ones that were like this. Yeah, you. Dude, they made a lot. Yeah, and there was like the uh, helmet, no helmet, right? Yeah. Because they did that with the turtles too. Yeah, and they made us with Dragon Ball Z too. I think you can get Goku Super Saiyan or yep. non Super Saiyan. Mm -hmm. yep. But uh, uh, there's other mysteries in the world. You know, we were talking about Amerigo Vespucci. And uh, we were talking about who else were we talking about, Javi? And Hathaway. Yep. Marco Hathaway. Polo. Marco Polo. Oh, okay, one thing before we go into Unsolved Mysteries, dude. Uh, Carmen San Diego. Do you know Carmen San Diego? Yes, I love her. Okay, do you know Carmen San Diego? Javi, you know. Carmen San Diego, right? Yeah. You remember her? Yeah, the one with the red outfit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, dude. Today I was having a conversation. Somebody didn't know who Carmen San Diego was, and then I got up at work. I'm like, hey, do you guys know Carmen San Diego? It was like maybe like 60 people didn't know Carmen San Diego. 40 people knew Carmen San Diego, and they're, you, they're you all relatively to my age. People. I just had to say, I was like, who knows Carmen San Diego? And that's just like the best questionnaire. <laughs> it's like, yeah. they're, like, they're all so bored. They're like, ah, I got to answer. Yeah, they're like, dude, who's that? You know, people are like, who's that? Carmen San Diego? Dude, somebody thought it was like, what did they tell me? And they were like, uh, oh, it's like that lady. Uh, I don't know, dude. I thought they, it was somebody from, uh, I don't even know what they told me, dude, but it was like so not even Carmen San Diego. She's the most famous midwife to have ever lived. They thought it was like a place in California. You yeah. know what I mean? They thought it was like a beach. <laughs> Carmen San Diego. Wow. I'm like, no, it's a lady, dude. And you're like, everybody's been looking for her. You know, another the original people... Where's Waldo? Yeah, but yeah. cooler. You know, she's yeah. got guns. She's got she's the got glasses, a suitcase. She's the right by Indiana. They have a show still? Yeah. But now she's like, and now she she's not as cool. Netflix mm. one. I just saw a picture. She right. didn't look that cool. But I mean, they people should still know yeah i guess that's, yeah, that's a good point see that's a good point but now like before it was scary like the netflix one i didn't get us scared you know like I, yeah it looked more like cartoony but before like dude she was like kind of hot you know and it was like you were like five years old or six yeah and she's always disappearing on the run yeah you didn't know if like you were allowed <laughs> to say she was hot you know yeah cause she's like, a criminal you know it's like god what am i well you got mcgruff telling you to say no to strangers but you know you got a freaking you got McGruff for freaking Carmen San Diego. She's turning you on, dude. And then you got Smokey the Bear showing his nipples, telling you not to start forest fires. Oh yeah, Smokey. Do you remember Smokey the Bear? Yes. Did you prevent any uh, fires, <clears throat> or would you say you were a little bit of an arsonist? Uh, I was an arsonist. Yeah. Yes. I said a uh, uh, narcissist. No, you said arsonist. <laughs> she said she was an arsonist. Uh, did you narcissist. Hear that? <laughs> narcissist. <laughs> Maybe but, a little uh, bit of that too. I was just saying we have to. Maybe we have to study a little bit more about uh, Carmen San Diego, dude, because we gave Mavis Beacon the title of one of the first women of the internet. Dude, I think Carmen San Diego might be one of the first, if uh, not the first, right? Women of the internet or a villain of the internet, because she was like the first villain, almost. I feel like first. maybe, but Mavis Beacon has to be one of the first period of like. She was the Even first, like, period. it was positive for you. Yeah. Like, Car uh, Carmen Sandiego was, like, the first, like, malware or the first Trojan horse of the internet, you know? People were scared of them. I like, see. back then, they didn't have any uh, viruses for the computer. But if you saw Carmen Sandiego on your computer... You were screwed. You should be scared. Hard yeah. reset. Did you I unplug them for five minutes? <laughs> She's the hopefully. embodiment of LimeWire. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully she didn't come back, dude. But, all right, Javi's got a couple unsolved mysteries. Unsolved mystery of the day. 
how did you make the transition from uncool to cool you guys remember that song i wish that i could no be, be like, like the cool kids. kids oh yeah i remember <laughs> that one so what about you we're gonna start with alice because mm, she's gonna I'm tell still us not cool she's gonna say she's not cool I'm so not cool. so how do you as an uncool person how does it feel like every day to just walk around so like much greatness <laughs> So you get out of bed, and then what do you think? I'm like, well, dang, here I go again. Another loser day. And then what? And then I get up. I think, yeah, I get up. I, <laughs> I think I get up. Yeah, tell us your loser tendencies. Yeah, so I get up, and then... Actually, no, I lied. I don't get up. I just roll over, turn the TV on, because I'm a loser. Watch Netflix for like an hour or two. Then I get up, start cleaning... And then that's it. And then if I have work, then I go to work. So you're a hoarder. No, I don't. Hoarders don't wake up early, and they're losers. So I'm kidding. <laughs> Can you <laughs> don't uh, the, breathe, the Alice? Show, breathe. The show hoarders give me so much anxiety. <laughs> but can you tell us? Then can you tell us about um, what we want to hear? <clears throat> what do you want to hear? Well, let's ask how much she knows that. Yeah. Just, you know, we uh, we didn't want to hear that. I'll tell you that. We didn't want to hear that. (laughs) What do you mean, you pervert? Wait, we had to want this job. (laughs) Yeah, she wants this job, Javi. That's what I'm saying. Maybe she doesn't. Yeah, maybe I don't. Don't scare us, but, you know, tell us, like, uh, (laughs) you're the one wanting to hear things. Dude, it sounds like squid pro quotes. Are you you talking right, Javi? Tell him not to stop talking, (laughs) guys. Avi, knock it off. So you're just going to tell us, like, if you were a cool person now. Okay, if I was a cool person, I don't know. Because you're going to manifest being a cool person, so. You don't sleep. That's a sign of a cool person. Right? You're always busy. You have something to do. You're so damn busy, you don't even have time for sleep. That's a you, cool you person. You drink quality. a monster at so 6 cool. p.m. Uh, yeah. On that's Tuesday, not cool. July 20th. Yes. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's totally rad. It is actually totally rad. Tattooed your hand. Oh, yeah. I do. I have a tattoo. I have a couple tattoos, actually. And it's got one of those, what is a, a chess piece from chess or brass knuckles? Which one is it? What, this? That's a chess piece. Hair. Isn't it a brass knuckles? Yeah. No, it's a crown. Show the camera. Crown Royal. Oh, yeah. It's your favorite beverage. For crown burger? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see? So she's got a hand tattoo. <laughs> Look at up, dude. I'm not cool. <laughs> I'm not cool. You know? <laughs> Show the rest of your tattoo. Oh, yeah. It's going to have this. Up. What does it say? The rose. Can you? Oh, host will read it from us. You she has a whole poem on her arm. It's, She's yeah, not I have cool. A whole That's my power, my pleasure, my pain. But did you know that when it snows, it falls my rain. Eyes become rain. I, <laughs> <laughs> when it snows, my eyes become rain. Is that what it She's says? Crying. Crying. Yeah. When it snows. Yeah, she has the seal song tatted on her arm. Oh. Yes. Kids from a rose. Yes, yes. Shout out to them, dude, to keep the country protected pretty good. Yeah. All the I mean, look at the scars there. in his face. No. Do you think that he hasn't Is it scars? defended the country? Seal? No. I thought it was just, you know, because he picked his face a he lot. Thought it was a di- <laughs> <laughs> also, another Pokemon. So the reality for you that he's picking his face yeah, is Yeah, maybe he had a bad, just, you know, bad batch. That's fair. Decided. I don't know. I just, I've dealt with the reality that maybe he just, I don't know, maybe he was a klutzy little kid. Who knows? He just ran in Benny Hanas and never you don't really think got he had like a superhero going. and it was a superhero accident. Oh, like acid? He, some type of acid and all of a sudden he's like a great singer after that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? He's a mediocre singer at best. Even he said himself. He just said he had the charisma. He said he had a lot of friends that sing way better than he did. He just had the so star the quality. Cool, the cool friends? Yeah. That's dope. So what else is cool about you? About me? Mm-hmm. Um... I don't know. The chains are glistening like the fresh summer or yes. fresh winter snow. Yes. It's got, what, two chains or three? Two chains. Two chains. Two. One of them's a cross and the other one, what is it, like a hole? It's a <laughs> ring. A ring. A ring. What does it signify? The ring? The grudge. Purity. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a ring from my mom. Yeah, nice. see? Yes. Because her mom's pure. Yeah. Right on, host. You got it. So, yeah, you got that. What else do you got? You got shoes. She's wearing shoes. Yep. Toms. And socks. Which, I mean, when you buy a pair of Toms, if I'm not mistaken, goes to charity. Another yes. pair of shoes. I only bought these Toms because I saw Javi wearing them. 
Yeah? Yes. She was a poor kid that they gave a dong to. <laughs> I bought some. <laughs> I bought some and they gave it to her. He turns around and throws the shoe that happens to be it's her. Like, here you go, pendant. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Here you go, you poor piece of shit. <laughs> Fish, and they're not they're not cheap either dude, no how much are they and they don't even get 50 pounds. bucks dude. dude dude the 50 bucks isn't bad it's a lot for what they poor. are dude, dude i was you know mad what they are? I don't, i've never even touched one I <laughs> off, let's let him see him look I, I was mad and it's <laughs> like that was a nice catch <laughs> i was mad if i would was in africa and this is the shoe that i got this is 50 bucks 50 bucks right? dude. if you cloth. got that in africa you should feel special no i'd rather get some shacks and those you know what i mean in <laughs> africa you're gonna melt dude you don't even have anything in you africa touch the sand, they have shacks they can get shacks what else can they get just regular they use can get shoes. the proteges remember from <laughs> uh, 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 Mar stephen marbury marbury yeah the bbb big baller brands the, uh, british knights the bk shoes yep that you can't wear around Crips because you know BK or you any can't wear Walmart all the Payless. Yeah, all the is pay there a Payless shoes. still? Airwalk shoes, remember those? Oh, Airwalk, dude, I remember those. Those actually ones. nice. I remember those because of Tony Hawk, the game. Yes. So yeah, you could uh, you know what I mean? Okay, so if you were an African, you have to run away from a hippo. How how do you think you can run with those? Oh, you cannot run from a hippo. No. Yeah, it's, but if it, you got it, some uh, <laughs> some K Swissies on. You I wouldn't run. I wouldn't run you if I had case. Jump over places. the hippo. Yeah, you know or you what just I mean. Dart to the side. Yeah, and misses you. With the toms, you got a sprained ankle. But Harvey, why don't you tell us? <laughs> Looking like McGregor over here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what was your uh, coolness? Or what was it? McGregor. My coolness? Or you were lame? Or what was the question again? I was lame. <laughs> oh yeah. So uh, how did you make the transition from uncool to cool? Uh, how I did it was hanging out with you guys, you know? How did you transition? <laughs> you know? Stop being a kiss ass and tell the real story. <laughs> I'm not trying to... Uh... Deal with it, you're I getting all that's all we want to hear. <laughs> that was good, Javi. Good job, Javi. Pick up some pointers from Javi right there. You see that line? No, but, uh, I don't know, dude. I've, I feel like I've always been cool, you know? Like, I've never been one to, like, flex my coolness. I've been cool with everybody. I'm like a diplomat. Like, I should have joined Dipset. That's how cool I was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else? Uh, I hang out with a lot of people. I mean, I don't know. Is that cool? Well, no, that, that... we're talking about your transition. So first, you know, you had a bad haircut. That's a rumor. You used to role play as Jesus. You Pretty wore soccer jerseys. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not an ounce of humility in sight. Uh, yeah, that's why I was never uncool, you know? I've been cool from the jump. I got to play Jesus because I was so cool. <laughs> He's like from the womb to the tomb. I've been cool. <laughs> there you go. You know, Dang, so you've never been lame. I've I never been not. lame. According you know, to him, he, yeah, I guess yeah, not. Yeah. You know, can you confirm or deny? Uh, yeah. I mean, when I first met him, I thought he was a Dang, jerk. Dang, Alice, how, how many oh, years have we known each other? No, no, I'm being years? honest. No, I'm being honest. Like, the first time I ever met you, I thought I was like, dang, another jerk, here we go. Really? Yeah. But That's then so we started cool. talking, I was like, oh, he's cool, he's cool. But what about me? You seem like a jerk. That you uh, thought you were cool. Your lack of, <laughs> your lack of <laughs> humility. That was so cool. <laughs> you look like, um, what are they called now? Or the fuck boys? You got that. <laughs> You got that from me wearing scrubs. <laughs> They've been rolling like a football. No, before you changed into them. Yeah, before, I mean, obviously, before you walk into and put your mask and everything, I could see the Fuck facial boyery. the face. Yeah, fucking boyery. <laughs> I probably was back then, but that's why I was so cool. <laughs> no, but I guess, yeah, there you go. So he wasn't cool for that day. Yeah, that like two hours of it See? it was literally two hours of two hours on coolness dang dude so, this guy dude right i can't even look that way dude i'm, I'm gonna get blind dude he's shining like the so bright right now it's fucking rihanna shine bright like a diamond what? but diamonds refract <laughs> they do not shine science but what so, about you guys what about you jose what about me yeah. dude let's see i wasn't cool I got hit in the stomach, you know, and I oh, I couldn't breathe. What the hell? I was maybe like three. <laughs> so you haven't been cool since three? No, dude, let me, let me finish three. my story, dude. You freaking cool guy. You want to interrupt I'm me? Sorry. So then, that was uh, my pretentious. So maybe, you know, I was I was supposed to be the goalie. You know, I was only like three years old. I got hit in the stomach. Then I couldn't breathe. I got scared of the ball. So maybe I wasn't cool right there. And then uh, I had a small nose. Remember? I told you guys about my small nose challenges. Maybe he's like, oh, Jose, you know, did you, you realize that back then? 
You were three. You knew back people, then. Uh, people thought I was Asian, you know? Yeah. But like, did oh, you, you got did a little bit of Michael Asian? Jackson in you. They would say, you know, it's like, my Michael Jackson. And then I'm trying to figure out how old I was. How you, let's see. And then I was on call. When was I on call, dude? Maybe. Maybe when I came from Mexico, you know what I mean? Because I don't know how to speak English. Like, who's this freaking little immigrant? You know what I mean? And then, uh, oh yeah, I was on call my first year when I came from the U.S. Because you had to wear uniforms, you know? And it was like blue, white and khaki, or blue and khaki. Gotcha. But also, like in the back of the catalog, you could wear yellow. And guess what? I got a yellow shirt like a freaking idiot. I had to go in there looking like SpongeBob SquarePants <laughs> to work. You know what I mean? To school everybody else is just like, can I get like, dude, that's for girls. You know what I mean? That's And I got the yellow Power Ranger too. You know what I mean? I remember that. That was your so, gift. So yeah, so I can't go to school, play with the uh, yellow Power Ranger with a yellow shirt. You know, but then after that, I beat up a bully. So then after that, I was cool. Yeah. I beat up a bully and then I think I was... Uh, yeah, and then I always like uh, cracking jokes, and I was maybe I was a little bit of a bully too, you know. So True. maybe I wasn't cool when I was a bully. No, maybe so. you were like uncool, bully, and then cool. Your transition. Yeah, but that I was, was like funny, but I would be like too hard on people, you know. Yeah. So maybe I was maybe like a mean kind of like funny guy up until maybe when did I transition? Maybe like fifth grade, I would say. Then I was more like not bullying people, like teasing them too much, like picking on them. But it was just like. You know, just like everybody having fun, making fun of the teacher. I see. That's when I switched to making fun of teachers. So probably at fifth grade, that's when I transitioned. Hmm. Interesting story. Very. I just, <laughs> at first I thought you got like punched as a three-year-old in the stomach. I'm like, who's running around up? punching three-year-olds? <laughs> Unless they're not a three-year-old. It was soccer, dude. It was Mexico, dude. We were defending our honor, dude. Yeah. That's how they decide which baby gets to live, dude. It's just like the Spartans, but just from a Like from the a Aztecs, young age. bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's what happened. I survived, dude. So there's a question, how or when? Like when you were lame, right? So when were you How did you make the transition from uncool? So you cool. beat up a bully. I beat up a bully, yeah. You got then your was... bling on, you got your sty, your steez, your stilo. Yeah, I think I just barely became cool, to be honest. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. You're saying that because you got on the podcast, are you? No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, no, just barely. <laughs> like, right now, I just got <laughs> cool. Like this moment, I'm cool. <laughs> God, and then what You've about yours? Cool he, well? he, he leaves I've the been... vulva all cool, so uh, yeah. Yeah. he's been cool since birth, apparently. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Even with me? the shitty haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I, I've... Uh, started off lame, of course. I learned English till I was about eight, so I only spoke Spanish. And then, hmm, I feel like I flopped back and forth, but I wouldn't say it was ever cool. It was just like, a, he's okay. Because I just mind my own business, do my own thing, kind of a recluse. You were cool neutral. Yeah. Uh, non binary cool. And then, I, oh, I mean, if cool is a thing, and that's not even decided by me, <laughs> that's decided by the population that knows me. It would be maybe cool. around 24 years old is when I just, it wasn't like the whole, oh, I don't give a fuck about anything. It was just, uh, I'll just do me, and if anyone wants to join me, welcome. No one does, that's cool too. And then when I stopped caring. Just when that's I when you school, became cool? Yeah. When you stopped yeah. caring. Yep, Stop being a character. Cool. <laughs> he started yeah, being I'm a character. Yeah, he's a piece of shit, dude. <laughs> but he's cool, you know. Sometimes. But yeah, I don't know if that question was meant to be like more deep. You know what I mean? Like, how do you transition? It probably to be cool? was. Yeah. Like maybe a coming of age type of story. Yeah. Right? You had a, uh, you know, a bunch of what is it like? Uh, I was gonna say a bunch of puberty, but what's the uh, pimples? You know what I mean? You got a bunch of pimples and you got proactive, and now you feel a little bit cool. after proactive. You like that was the transition. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I think I think most of us were just normal kids, you know. Yeah, I was never the popular kid by any means, you know. Oh no. So. I was always picked on. You were picked on. Yeah, always. So why were you picked on? What What would people say? Oh, what, is that why you count to ten? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just Cause um, I was big, like big, and then like obviously tall in elementary, and um. Well, so you were probably the tallest because girls they kind of grow short. faster than boys yeah well yeah i was definitely tall and then in all my classes i was always the tallest one the biggest one and kind of like the only hispanic one and so obviously i was always picked on made fun of so how did you deal with that when you got like uh picked on or bullied or whatever i cried 
cried myself to sleep like at during night. school or no obviously when i got home yeah. oh but then in fifth grade um i ended up getting in trouble i you beat someone up yeah i think i couldn't handle it anymore or something and instead of uh, as a punishment instead of a punishment from my parents they ended up putting me in karate oh really That's yeah a great way so do you have siblings yes i have a sister like she's older or younger she's younger oh that would shout suck, out Pugly. Say. like uh because sometimes your brothers would be like oh you speed her up you know oh what I, mean? I did beat her up your sister yes no i'm just saying like bullies because i bet you like if your younger sister like if she got bullied you would tell her oh just like beat her up or something like that or maybe you all beat her up for you like i'd beat up the bullies for her yeah or you would tell her just punch her in the face yeah i always tell her that even now see but that's what i'm saying is like for you like you had to learn on your own like how to mm -hmm. stand up for yourself opposed to getting like advice like did your parents ever tell you like oh you're good to like just punch somebody or no. they just had to find that they even know you were getting like picked no. on or anything like that no see that's pretty because i hid it from the world apparently yeah. huh like she hid it there are kids that hide it yeah 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 so then you beat up a girl so when what was it like when you couldn't take like what was was this person like a constant like they were always like a jerk like all the time or what yeah it's just it was a boy or a girl it was a girl and she just kept nagging uh i don't know she was like one of those popular girls like everybody knew her all the teachers principals like kind of favoritism and she just i don't know for some reason wanted to pick on me and she was just like picking you constantly yeah I just pushed her. That's all it was. I just pushed her. She fell down, obviously made a big scene. Oh. Everyone was taking her side. I look like a bad person. But then after that, she didn't really punk you anymore? No. She just tried to like maybe like a dirty... Yeah, always. Like always dirty, dirty look. look. or something like that? Dude, but if she peaked in sixth grade, she's probably hideous and a swamp <laughs> troll now. Probably. I don't even know where she is. So then after that, how do you feel like about yourself? Did that give you confidence to not let people pick on you? Or? Yeah, everybody from then on always just thought I was a bully. Oh, they so thought they, you were a bully? So you 100% yeah. flipped it. You yeah. went from being picked on to being considered a bully. Yeah. So then after that, nobody messed with you? No. And that was sixth grade. So then in junior high, what were you like? Uh, A nerd. Yeah? Yes. Nice. So what would you do? Like, you didn't talk to people or anything like that? Mm, I talked to people, but yeah. I was mostly just doing schoolwork. So do you just hang out and do homework? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, let's hang out and do homework? Mm-hmm. And then what was your favorite uh, studies or whatever? Math. Yeah. I love math. So let me ask you, because there's like a weird, when you're in school, there's like a transition. Because there's like, you said there's like people that continue to get picked on. Mm -hmm. Right. But then there's also people that you can say are nerds or whatever, but like that people just leave alone regardless. So is that like where, where you were at? Like where you wouldn't get picked on anymore, but you just had like, it's almost like you had your own group that I guess maybe people didn't acknowledge, but like you guys were just like... I guess like free does that make sense yeah like people weren't weren't messing with you but you still had like a lot of friends but it was like people that you know they're like oh all these other people are hobby and all his buddies <laughs> over there you know what i mean or but nobody was like i guess giving you bad uh energy because you guys just had like your own group that nobody no uh middle school i was still getting picked on because i was um, like a shy person then so i just didn't really hang out with anybody and everybody just thought it was weird so obviously everyone was picking on me um but I, it didn't bother me much because i was already doing karate so that kind of helped with the anger and then high school is where like everybody knew kind of who i was and was like oh she's cool but i didn't think i was cool but they're like oh she's cool well so you started making more friends yeah i i talked to everyone but yeah, it has So like, how did you friends. start talking to everyone? Like when you were like, what was like your one friend that made you start like talking to maybe, you know, like one friend that's not like super cool, but knows like some other people that know cool people. Like what was kind of like your friend that kind of got you to be like, oh no, she's cool. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I don't know what friend it was. Oh, but you started like, but you know what I mean? You started yeah. like dabbling and then like all of a sudden actually what i think happened is because so in ninth grade i ended up getting suspended like at the almost like at the end of the year and it transferred into my 10th grade so i didn't start 10th grade until like october because i was still suspended oh really what yeah. did you do i ended up taking drugs to school 
Oh, really? Yes. Oh, so that automatically <laughs> makes her cool. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so then, obviously, when I started, everybody kind of knew me as that person. So she had a long summer break and made money at the same time. Right. Wow. Okay, so you took that to school, and mm -hmm. now people are like, oh, you're cool. Yeah. And that's how it came to be. And, and I think that's how everybody, everybody started talking started to me. Talking yeah. To you. She's like, oh, she's not a nerd. Now, let me ask you this. Did you sell out and uh, forget about your nerdiness? No, I was still a nerd. Yeah? Yes. And so, so you were still getting good grades and stuff like that? Yes. Or? And so, like, my senior year, like, halfway of it, and I just didn't care anymore. But you were almost done with high school. Yeah, I was almost done. That happens. Yeah. Yeah? But I still graduated good credits. I think I was short one credit in science, but I still got it. You just did a packet? Yeah. Oh, so, but by then you were cool. Yeah. Everybody thought you were cool. You had a mad respect. Mad respect, yes. Yeah, so that was your transition. Dude, and now you got a little bit of serious, you know what I mean? Because that's one thing that I used to be like, I used to pick on people a little bit, you know what I mean? And and first it was just like, I could make good jokes. So I didn't think it was like, I was like hurting their feelings, you know what I mean? I know some people would like, uh, I guess just like bully you to bully you. Mm -hmm. But for me, I just like, like making, like roasting people. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I never had like a filter for whoever I was roasting or whatever. So maybe it was like a kid that I didn't really know. And I'm like roasting. I was like, well, the kid probably feels like crap. You know what I mean? But I told the story here. It's like one time when I realized that I was kind of like an asshole, like there was this kid, he was Bosnian and uh, he would always like sack, like, and he was like in fifth grade, I think, but he was like sag his pants and just you know, walk all cool like this and uh he would always like whistle do that loud whistle mm -hmm. and he'd do it like behind you so it'd get like it hurt your ears you know what i mean he's like dude like dude dude i don't even know you don't whistle behind me so he happened to live like in the apartments that i lived uh at, and uh one day i just like caught him you know he was like out there walking like on my side of the apartments and uh, i just like grabbed him you know what i mean and i just mm -hmm. like shoved him against like the like the wall and I, like, picked him up by his collar. You know, I was like, well, that's what you saw in the movie. So I was like, I was like wow. fuck you up or whatever, right? It's so, like, don't do none of your whistling shit or anything like that. It's like, so I was just kind of like, I don't know, kind of like calling him out to see if he was like a, like a hard guy or whatever. But I was like, uh, I don't know. I was just like, you know, I'm going to fuck you up, like threatening him almost. You know what I mean? And then, like, I found out a couple, like, days later, like, he was a refugee from Bosnia. And, like, his parents got killed in the war. Oh, so wow. he didn't even have any parents. And, like, his only person that was taking care of him was, like, uh, his grandma. You know what I mean? So, like, his grandma's, like, some old lady. You know, she doesn't know anything about American <laughs> culture. You know what I mean? You bullied an orphan. I know. You're <laughs> such a dick. You know, but here no, we I, are celebrating them. I didn't, <laughs> beat, no, I didn't beat him up. You know what I mean? I was just, like, threatening him. But then I realized, like, oh, like, I was, like, an asshole to this kid. And, like, he's got, he's got it, like, a lot worse. And, like, if I'm angry and stuff like that, mm. it's, like... I realized, like, even at that age that I was, like, still younger, like, I realized that it's, like, oh, well, like, this kid is actually, has, like, a really crappy life compared to me, you know what I mean? It's, like, I can be upset about this, but he has, like, no guidance, and I picked that up, like, like, that young, you know, it's, like, he has, like, no guidance, he's got, like, no parents to, like, teach him how to be, like, a normal kid or uh you know like taking the school or just do like normal kids like he literally he just has like his grandma and he's like no but no family or anything like that you know mm. so that's like after that that's when i just try to be more like uh friendly and talk to more people you know what i mean and then like if it was i would still sometimes cross the line because i like i mean even i think with like javi or some of my other brothers like sometimes i'll say something you know that's kind of like rude but then they know it's like oh i'm just playing or something like that you know so sometimes i still have that issue uh, and I'd do it with, like, some of my friends later, like, in 6th or 7th grade and stuff like that. Uh, but after that, I started being more, like, if it was, like, nerdy kids or like, weird kids, I always liked all of them. Uh, so I tried to get those people to, like, engage with with everybody after that kid. His name was Fegrid. So, like, I always remember, I was like, oh, dude, I can't make any other kid feel like Fegrid uh, again. You know what I mean? So then that was always, like, since I was a kid, I was always, like, I tried to be very inclusive with a lot of different people because of like that kid you know mm -hmm. so it's just like weird how like one thing like that just like changes your your whole perspective you know because yours it was like you know one girl then that's like you realize oh i pushed her now i can kind of stand up for myself you know what i mean and your parents like they didn't know you were getting picked on you know what i mean and i was like oh and they actually are gonna put you in karate you know right. what I mean? so now you're pretty good but what about you host you remember any traumas like that when you were a child 
you that were I quiet, cause on somebody? Or you were a quiet, you know, person and then somebody no, I was quiet. Oh, look, so. at, look at you with your tuba over here. You know what I mean? I think uh, being quiet and then just like, you've seen, you've seen me or you've heard me. I'll say a joke and it's a joke to me, but I don't, it's very dry. So some people may take it as facts. So from a young age, I could tell that I realized how strong of an influence I would have on people just by saying something. So I just remember this one time. I didn't go to English class because I was just like sloughing. And uh, like a friend of mine from the class texted me and said, hey, where are you? And I go, oh, I found out I had uh, butt cancer today. So I'm not going. Like, I literally said that. It was in a text. I had butt cancer. I went to the doctor. And he goes, are you serious? And I go, yeah. I just, that's why I'm not at school today. I can't handle today. He goes, oh, that sucks. Okay, bye. But then that, that just was such a joke. It was just a joke in a moment in time. I went to work. I forgot about it. And two days later, because we had uh, A day, B day type thing, I show up to English class. I put my backpack down and five people are like staring at me, right? There's like these two girls that I chatted with and the other three guys and one of them being the buddy I texted. I go, what? They go, <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> and I go, what? what? Yeah, that's just how yeah. I am. Like, what? Are you okay? Why do you ask? What's going on? Oh, the, I was like, hurt? that was a joke. And they're like, really? I was like, yeah, I just, why would you take that serious? And that was it. But from that, mo I mean, even before that, but that's like when I realized I could say the most absurd thing, but because I don't speak often, people are just going to take it seriously. Yeah, that's that's a good one. So if you say something with us like you, Zero, confidently enough and yeah. with no emotion, most people are just going to believe it. Yeah. But did you have any like childhood ones where maybe uh, let's see, what's one where maybe like when you you said you used, so you had like broke out of your shell. See, like hers was pretty good because you know what I mean. It's like she found out how she was because. Uh, she had to like push somebody. She got tired of somebody. Or I see what you mean. You know what I mean? Or, or when you felt like uh... I don't know. I've always felt like this. I mean, there was this. We, my brother and I, we grew up in a a neighborhood. And there was a uh, whiteheads, but not like the or skinheads. Skinheads, whiteheads. Yeah. Same oh, okay. difference, right? <laughs> well, our uh, cosmetologists. <laughs> <laughs> but not like the original purpose they were meant to be formed by, right? Like they were the racist ones, which is weird. Cause that's yeah. Con it contradicts what they were set up to do. But there was like five of them once, and they, you know, they ganged up on me and my brother seeing it. Uh, he comes over, he knocks one out, and because he was always bigger than me, and he picks up one of the kids' bikes. And I, I think I told you the story. Okay. My dad just like, he just has dad speed. He runs out of nowhere, snatches the bike out of my brother's hands, but I grabbed a skateboard and I smacked the kid on the, because uh, he had a oh, skateboard. Bad. So I shoved him off it, grabbed it, smacked him, but they never bothered us again. But, and so from that point on, people just knew. But I guess it was nice for so you I to have back. your older brother like too, huh? Yeah, then so when you were saying that, I was like, I've never experienced that because my older brother was always there. Yeah, so you're, so what kind of tips would your older brother give you like when you were growing up? Like, I don't know if it was tips because we were just a year apart, so it's like we were almost twins. You could just we were, tell yeah. what he was doing just kind yeah, of Yeah, we were just together if, if so someone messed like with him, vice versa. With him. Mm -hmm. oh, that's pretty nice. All right, so now that you, you, know, you heard a little bit more of an eloquent conversation, Mr. Cool Guy, <laughs> What can you tell us about your uh, childhoodness that you said, oh, you know, maybe I want to be a nicer guy. Maybe I'm not going to be so cool today. Uh, maybe you felt bad for a kid. Oh, you gave him was, a piece of lunch. Mine was not defined. I guess mine is just I'm very selective on who I let in my circle. I get if that does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like with my words, I'm like, oh, I'll just very be very selective with who I'm cool with. And I'm like on a friend level. And then from then it's it's I'm nice, but I don't like if I don't know you, I'm not going to wish you happy birthday. <laughs> Or you're not going to yeah. tell me you have butt cancer. Yeah, no, I don't know. I mean, I could tell you, and then I'll wait to see. Are you yeah. going to believe me or not? I, mean, you have I have a ass cancer me. lady. Yeah. Um, let me enjoy this ice cream in peace. There was a situation in high school, I think it was like 10th grade, where the the group that I was hanging out with, uh, we like used to walk, roam the halls, you know, because we were just scavengers and didn't really have a place anywhere. Because you know how people had their, these people hung out in A hall, H hall was this. People have their territories. Yeah, yeah everybody their has their, their territory, territory or whatever. Dude. And we were just kind of like, whatever, you know? Like, no man's land. Walking around. One of the, Well, one of these assholes, like, had some, like, fry sauce because we were walking around during lunch. And then I see this kid, like, this poor kid was just minding his own fucking business. And then one of the dudes, like, grabs the fry sauce and just chucks it. And everybody runs. I'm like, what the fuck was that? And after that, dude, I was like, I don't know about these people anymore you know like wait the people oh, you're walking, walking with the people i was hanging out with I'm oh like, what the fuck and oh, i was like wow and you know i'm not i don't feel like i'm a bully and I'm, i get along pretty well with like 
99.9% of everybody. Friendship neutral. Yeah. Like, I, I don't have an issue with anybody. And, like, when I saw that, dude, it kind of, like, triggered. I'm like, what the fuck? And that, like, uh, to this day, I try to never be rude. Even, like, if I'm joking around, I'll, I'll make sure that they know that, hey, it was a joke. Like, like, if I feel like they're feeling some type of way. Even, like, at work, dude, <laughs> I told this old guy, like, oh, uh, I offered him a donut. And um, I was like, oh, hey, so-and-so, like, they got your type of donuts. The old people kind, you know? Oh, <laughs> bad joke, dude. It was a horrible joke. Yeah. But I thought it was funny, and we I thought we had that rapport. Yeah. But I guess he was hearing it from all sides. And, oh, or yeah, everybody, oh, from anybody oh, else. Of it. Yeah, and he, he like, and I was just the last straw. That's because he just got a new hearing aid. Otherwise, he <laughs> yeah, wouldn't have heard dude. it. <laughs> and so, uh, like, after that, I felt so shitty. I'm like, dude, I hope, uh, like, the next day or whatever, I think the man he talks to the manager or vice versa. <laughs> and uh, he's like, hey, I just want you to know how he did feel bad. Like, like he didn't mean it was a complete joke. He's like, no, yeah, like. Like, I know he jokes around and I know him, but it just, like, was the final straw or whatever. Yeah. And I just hate making, like, people just feel shitty, you know? Yeah. So, like, I make it a point to, like, for them to know, like, hey, it was a joke. I'm sorry. Like, if you felt some type of way, like, we're cool. I didn't mean nothing by it, you know? But after that, like, I just make it a point to be cool to people or nice to people, even if they're, like, dickheads, you know? See, that's a pretty good one to let them know that it's a joke sometimes. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I struggle with that. And then you, you said you can be very sarcastic. I say. I'm just and like, I said, you didn't even think about it. Yeah, I don't. And that's kind of what I mentioned a little bit earlier. You know, when I would roast one of my buddies thinking, you know, he knows that I'm just loving him. Yeah. And then, he, you know, I ruined his day because I, you know, called him a farmer. Too much or for him, like yeah. But <laughs> what, <laughs> what are we looking at time? We're at about an hour. You know, so maybe we can do some wholesome advice. Dude, this episode turned out kind of nice. You know? I feel like it was. A little wholesome. And uh, Alice, you know, she's going to get, she's going to start us with wholesome advice. She, oh, she was oh. preparing <clears throat> to drop some bars. Yeah, she has a book yeah. of bars. Uh, oh, I do. A, that's but a rumor. I'll she bring it next time. Home. I'll bring it next time. Unprepared. <laughs> Whoa. It's my Take, first day. Hey, <laughs> takes one to know one, Javi. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, at least I made it. And that's it. why I'm bringing it up. Hey, you know? don't talk to the I'm new trying to like make her do better. Don't talk. I'm trying to make Go her ahead. better than I am. <laughs> okay, wholesome advice. Um, oh, man. I don't know. I feel like just like... Don't take... Don't take this life so serious. Honestly. I mean, I get it. It's the only one you have. And you want to do the best you can. And you know, provide for yourself and your family and loved ones, whatever. But honestly, there's just, there's some things that really you should not take so serious at all. Um, like right now, I feel like me personally, I'm actually a really, really peaceful. I'm really at a peace in my life right now. I feel like Maybe four years ago, I probably was taking everything so seriously to the point where I was stressing myself out. Obviously, I wasn't sleeping a lot. And it got me to the point where I was almost hating myself because I wasn't where I felt like I needed to be. Like, I didn't have a house or I didn't have a family. I didn't have kids. I wasn't... Where, where the rest of my friends were at. I was like, damn, am I really a slacker? Am I even doing life right? Yeah, that's that's where I'm at. So now I'm, I'm okay now. Yeah, don't take everything too yeah. serious. Don't set your expectations. So towards like Yeah. Or just other people. You know, you can have your own expectations. Right. Not your, you don't have to reflect on your friends or have their expectations or the life be your expectations. Yes. That's a tough one because you hear that from everywhere, huh? Yeah. Like, oh, when are you going to get married? When are you going to have kids? Especially, like, like, from your family. When I feel like it. Like, when when I'm ready is when I'm yeah. ready. Yeah, but, like, to piggyback off that, dude, like, I've, I have kind of had the same situation up until, like, I did the whole marriage and, and like, we're like, expecting right now. And, like, I was like, man, I'm, I'm 30. Like, is this the right choice? Like, should we, you know, have a kid, whatever? But then, like, or end it being Hispanic, Everyone has babies at fucking 15, you know? Yeah. So Being I'm a Mexican. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> That's not what my <laughs> Mexicans, but I didn't want to single anybody out, you know? I'm all inclusive. Latinx. Yeah. Latinx. 
And uh, I was like, man, am I falling behind? According to my culture, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm way past my prime. Way past you should my have prime double now. the kids by now. Yeah, so like, have a uh, football team. Yeah, that or a soccer team or whatever. Yeah. At least a, a starting five, you know. Right. But I'm at number one, you know. But it just like this whole year has been like an eye-opening experience, because like as far as like the baby, everybody and anybody who's like found out about it has been super supportive. All my friends. Even people I didn't expect to like receive things from have been like reaching out and dude, it's like, like you said, don't take life too serious. Take it at your own pace. You know, I think that that would be my wholesome advice is like you're living at your own pace. Really don't compare yourself to anybody because like your experiences are your own. And you, yeah, I mean, me and Alex can have the same exact experience, but we can see like our opinions and thoughts and everything are going to be way different. So like, just don't compare yourself to anybody else. Or, or the, your time frame to anybody else because it happens different for everybody, you know? So that would be my advice. Well, my advice, if we're you know, going this way, <laughs> we're just piggybacking on everything too. And I guess where the conversation kind of led that we were talking about earlier is that you never know what other people are going through. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So like with you, it's like your parents didn't even know, you know, you're getting picked on or, you know, you don't show it. Like you said, oh, you hide it well and stuff like that, you know? And then like me, I've treated this Boston kid like crap, you know what I mean? And then I find out what he's going through. You treated that old senior citizen. <laughs> made a senior citizen joke you know what i mean so I there's euthanize him and you you never know like you said you, you <laughs> never know where everybody's at you know like everybody could have be having their worst day yeah mm -hmm. and then and you, you could be the final something. straw and yeah and you could be like the best day so that's like uh i think that's one that's like you can see somebody that's smiling or something like that. It's like oh that guy actually feels like absolute shit. you know it's like his best day so i guess maybe if it's like making assumptions on other people you know i had this thing was like oh it's like uh what is it bias or whatever you know what i mean you have a bias because oh this guy Javi he's Mr. Cool Guy you know what Mr. 420 he comes in with all the bling fucking Fonzie <laughs> but bro. then you know hey. what I mean he hates that he can't walk you know internally yeah people don't know that I you am struggling I mean? to walk He's struggling to walk so you know what I mean so people are oh you want to hang out you want to go they thought it was my pimp limp it's actually because I'm about to have my fucking leg amputated you know so uh <laughs> so why is Harvey late to the podcast you know what i mean we give him all it takes me 20 minutes to get in my car nice them you know what i Leave mean 20 minutes earlier <laughs> so hey. things like that so, so don't you know <laughs> don't take my brain is 20 minutes slower than everybody else's <laughs> you done or you finished now i don't even know what advice i'm giving sorry so don't yeah don't uh assume other people's feelings or maybe because for me you know I, I did say like sometimes i just do without thinking too much and that's good for a lot of things, you know, but sometimes you have to be maybe a lot more thoughtful of, uh, I guess, the person, especially if it's like a stranger, you know, like a stranger interaction, like maybe don't be too much of yourself. I know that made you cool, but sometimes you can maybe just like ease a person into you because that's made a lot of like my friends that I've met like later, all of them thought I was like a jerk almost, you know, it's like dang, but I was just being sarcastic, you know, but I didn't give them the heads up. They're like, oh, you're actually really nice, but. Like for a couple of weeks, I just like put him through like almost like hell, you know, because they they're like, dude, who's this guy? Like, is well, it's he like being you're, you're testing being things, serious? right? Like, that's yeah, your so way I'm of testing like, people. Yeah, so I do that. And it's like, maybe I don't need to test them that way. Maybe you just get to know them like a normal person. So, yeah, maybe be caring for people or just figure out, ask them how their day is or have a normal conversation. Try to figure out. Uh, I guess maybe that's a good one. I'll say hi to them. Hey, how are you doing? Hope everything's going well. Maybe a small talk. Because they people or hate maybe... small talk, but you know what? My wholesome advice is going to be have a little bit of small talk this week. You know, ask a couple people. Hey, it's like your third advice. <laughs> hey, you should save some for next episode. Hey, no. issue, small talk. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just all it's the piggybacks. Yeah, all the wholesome advice that I don't give all the other. <laughs> now, else is not going to have any because you're saying all. But of I was going to say that. Uh, do a lot of do some small talk. Let's try it out. I know it's boring, but maybe some people need it out here. You know what I mean? So, uh, small talk. That's it. Dude, you guys had like deep ones so i'm like i was just gonna do something simple but do like a, a routine whether it be in the morning or an evening or both if you can afford both 15 minutes find like something right i like waking up uh so when i was on vacation drank like a, a cup of tea just sat outside and enjoyed a quiet morning not saying anything not listening to music not checking my phone just 15 minutes whatever it is for you but that's what i did i love mornings mm. wake up in the morning just 
either Feeling hot like chocolate Diddy, if it's huh? cold. Yeah, I don't like that song, TikTok <laughs> or whatever it's called. I want she should get royalties, by the way. It's Kesha. Kesha, yeah. Kesha. So did you just find a couple of things to? Yeah, just something that just grounds you, where nothing, no noise from outside. It's all just your own thoughts. I think that's healthy. 15 minutes at least. Almost like a meditation of sorts. Relax. Yeah, like and you don't have to like, yeah. Breathe a little bit. People always think meditate. You have to like no. either not think of something or think of something. You can just it, sit pick there. one. Yeah. 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 Uh, lay just on be. Your, lay outside. It's just like contemplating. Yes. So it's nice. Yeah. I love doing that every morning. Well, do you guys have any closing thoughts? Any, uh... Well, no, I wanted to ask Alice if you wanted to plug anything. Plug anything? anything you want to say? Yeah, anything you want to say to yourself, Any shout know, outs? Hey, this is my Instagram. Uh, this is my, uh... Uh, shout out to... Puggles. You know who you are. Oh. Shout out to you, Puggles. Puggles, you know who you are? Oh, that was a dog. Is that a Puggle Pugs? Beagle mix? No, it's a nickname. <laughs> it's a bugle. <laughs> Dude, those are chip. <laughs> oh, those are so awesome. Isn't that though? an instrument? What? <laughs> a bugle <laughs> boy. <laughs> um yeah and where can the people find you at you can find me at instagram i don't know what my instagram name is actually i think it's fashion it's fashion yeah Fajian. we know it <laughs> spell uh, it out though. spell it's it out for the people in the back p h a z i a n all righty Asian invasion Fashion invasion and thank you for uh coming <clears throat> coming in we're Harvey's gonna have to teach you stuff you know yes so. we'll do in in-house training uh, while we're recording too yeah we're gonna have to figure out how to do that but it was nice to have you thank you for having me uh, i feel very blessed you, any questions for her host do you know do you have any uh questions you know about uh talents any uh because maybe you know i like to sometimes i don't of course there's things that you don't think about in, in the process of it all uh, what hidden talents do you like? Do you play instruments? I play the guitar. Guitar, nice. Oh, God. Are you going to bring your guitar next week? I don't know about next week, but I can bring it. Ooh. Spanish guitar, Tony Braxton. Bow, 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 bow. It's an electric. That's how that song goes. You have an electric guitar? Mm -hmm. Dude, okay. That's pretty cool. Looks like we're going to make a band. <gasps> Mean some band, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I only play... Uh, brass instruments and i guess i could pick up the saxophone again we can make but... ska music dude we there we could. go yeah. to bring back to ska javi what are you doing over here dude are you i'm over here pulling out my sack meaning uh the coin of destiny <laughs> sack <laughs> you're gonna give her a coin of destiny i'm gonna give her a coin of destiny <gasps> what is this out my sack and you remember gonna... how the coin of destiny works or not no, have you been remember. watching the show yes i have i don't remember this part wow so, uh, hopefully talked about it yeah. every yeah. episode the, the coin of destiny uh, spawned about <laughs> maybe 11 years ago we were working together and it was fun because people would never decide like what they wanted to eat or just make decisions. Oh, okay. So I had a coin who I assigned officially the coin of destiny and we would make an, uh, tournament style bracket if there's multiple choice. Right. And then you best out of two or best out of three, best out of whatever you want it to be one flip. But once the coin decides for you, you cannot decide otherwise okay otherwise the so, curse will happen heads oh, or tails shit. Yeah. so heads yeah oh mcdonald's or wendy's you know heads mcdonald's okay, tails, okay, wendy's. Okay, but, okay. You, but the thing the beautiful thing about the coin is is once you let go of the coin again you have to let the coin decide but sometimes you now now know what you want like oh damn i want a mcdonald's and then if it lands on wendy's you got to go to wendy's you gotta go to wendy's yes so and this will help never, never betray the coin never betray never the coin. betray the coin so you have to take the pledge i alice <clears throat> Fasion. i alice Fasian invasion in the name of in the name of the coin's child destiny's child aka the coin of destiny aka the coin of destiny i solemnly swear i solemnly swear to to <laughs> uh take abide, this coin abide by its rules abide and its decisions by its rules and its decisions and forever and forever hold hold the coin the coin accountable accountable and treasure it and treasure it for every major for every major or small or small decision decision in my life in my life amen amen, amen. amen. <laughs> <laughs> only one man eh? uh, okay i show the people oh, what it you got like. a coin of destiny here we go guys so it looks like the coin of destiny so now we got two coins of destinies out there dude watch it's, out dude it's growing the cult is growing well yeah it's nice to see you host yeah, nice to see you dude. yeah it's been 
I always miss coming to these things. Uh, but... Nice to see you too, Javi. I know. Oh, it's, it's great to see you. Finally, glad to be back. Both of you, you know, <laughs> for a couple of days, you know? <laughs> Sammy, he'll be gone again. Probably. But, but a bean to rice? I want to say, uh, well, can I say thank you to uh, all the other podcasts? Yeah, Lake Talk on. Boys that hung out with us. Dre, um, Billy, Dalton. Uh, Angel. Angel. Everybody, oh, no, not Anka, dude. You pervert, dude. I'm still, <laughs> dude. That guy's a creep. Okay. He was cool with me. I'm still waiting to battle Shout you, to dude. You, out in the field. you were cool with me. <laughs> All right. We'll you still still have you, to... said you, you said you were gonna make a basketball team or a soccer team. We'll take them on any day, host. Yeah. Right. Great. They were saying, oh, Dre. They were talking mess, Dre bro. Dre was like, oh, I can hit the six podcast, pointer. Podcast for you know? podcast. You know. He yeah. was saying that I can hit a six pointer. I said, host can hit a twelve pointer, dude. Ooh. I double now, that. Huh? And now we got four people. You know what I mean? I'm more like a cheerleader. No, you're not. <laughs> Don't say no, that. No, you're God, part of the team. You're part of the team, bro. Just make something yes, up. Jesus Christ. You're all going down. <laughs> yeah, she's going to... God. All right. Well, anyway, podcast, anyway, <laughs> shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, thank you for listening. Uh, shout out to everybody listening. Shout out to all y'all. Shout out to God. Shout out to oh, God. Beans and rice. Beans and rice. Hey. Shout out to Javi's baby, Cynthia. Hopefully Cynthia. we get a pregnant woman on the podcast. Next Cynthia, week. you're gonna we be can. on next yes, week. Cynthia, come through. Next oh. week, we can yeah. hang out. Before she's not pregnant, dude. Then yeah, we're, dude, it's we're gonna scary. have to find a pregnant woman. She's yeah. already having contractions. Oh my so gosh. I'm, I'm a little worried Why are that you we here? won't make it. Maybe we'll have one on uh, uh, Saturday. I'll or just Sunday. find someone. I'll, I'm just gonna go to the the NICU. Plant Parenthood, you think? Hey, this like, is Cynthia. Who are all the pregnant women? And then they'll tell me. I'll say I've got some gift baskets for them. Really, it's an invitation to this. Yeah, kind of like in the fortune cookie. Yeah. <laughs> all right, dude. All right, beans and rice. We're out, dude. Hose BP six six six. Thank you, guys.